Hey everybody, Questwise here. Welcome back to the library. And today we're going to talk about this. I can see it all here. This is a Palladium Books Christmas grab bag box. Now, I know it's a little late. It's a little after Christmas. But, um, you know, well, they actually extended the grab bag program. Uh, until I think it was January 15th was the last deadline you could put your book, your, your, your order in for it. Um, so thanks to them for that. Uh, it's very generous for them to extend it beyond Christmas for those of us that maybe, uh, or those of you out there who maybe got some extra cash for Christmas and hadn't, you know, gotten this as a present or wasn't able to purchase it beforehand. Seen a lot of other people out there who have done some unboxings for one of these. And I have to make, I have to make a confession for you all. This is my very, very first Palladium grab bag. I know, I know. You're saying, quest-wise, you're a huge, huge Palladium fan. Why have you never done this before? Well, I'm not, I've always been wary of grab bag type things. Because I, you know, I always kind of like, well, what if I get something I already have? Or what if it's you know, something that's really cheesy. So I've always put off grab bags for a long time. And now I'm kicking myself because Palladium does an amazing, amazing job with this grab bag purchase. If you don't know what it is, if you go to their website, unfortunately it is closed for this year, but I do want to show you the one that I got, uh, just in case you're interested in, um, you know, grabbing one for yourself next year. They do it every year, uh, prior to Christmas and then right up through the holiday season. You go to their website, and what you do is you fill out this questionnaire about games that you're, books that you're specifically looking for, games that you're wanting to, willing to try, uh, if you would like artwork, if you would like a t-shirt, all sorts of questions and stuff on there. You fill that out, and then they pack a box full of some amazing stuff for you. And this is a great deal. It's $45. You... According to their website, you're guaranteed anywhere from uh, 90 to to $100 worth of product for your $45. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's in here. Um, I've, I've watched quite a few other uh, unboxings. Uh, Evan Cass uh, is a newer YouTuber and uh, um, a great guy. He's done several of these and... Um, it, he's he's always super excited about it. He's gotten some amazing things, so I'm excited to see uh, what uh, what came out of mine. Now, my specific uh, questions, the, you know, the, the things that I requested. I'm a huge fan of Palladium Fantasy, so I added a couple of things to that which I hadn't picked up already, uh, and I'm looking to expand my re-expand my riffs line of stuff. Um, the original, almost all the original books that I had for riffs, uh, either were given away to friends, uh, when I kind of got out of the hobby for a short stint, um, or were sold off. And, uh, but I've been back in the hobby now for, for a long time and, uh, looking to rebuild my riffs collection a little bit. Um, so that was some of my other stuff on here. And then I just gave them free reign to throw in, you know, a few other things that I thought that I, that I might like as well too. Um, as it's end of, end of this video, I want to talk about the Palladium Open House a little bit and a cool promotion that I have going with Palladium on, uh, uh, an upcoming video series that I'm going to be doing. And, uh, but yeah, we'll get to that at the end of this video. Now, I did cheat a little bit and I, um, I kind of cut the, they taped this very, very well. So I kind of pre-cut a little bit of this so it wouldn't take so long on camera to do so, but let's pop open the last little bit here and we'll see what's going on so rid of some of this tape all right oh, oh oh nice what is this okay so first things first let me uh let me just slide this box off to the side here a little bit so first things first it looks like there we got a man, this table is really full of stuff it looks like we got uh, a little promotion for Robotech. Um, I was just having a conversation uh, the other day with a good friend of mine, uh, Jeff Cape. Uh, he is uh, over on YouTube. He's uh, God Emperor Leto II. 
please check out his channel. Um, he's a big Palladium fan as well. Um, and we were just talking about a, a Robotech game that he wants to run. And um, I, I had to admit that I'd actually never... I own a few of the Robotech uh, role-playing stuff from Palladium, uh, some of the older stuff, but I've, I've, I'm just now starting to watch Robotech, and uh, I'm loving it. It's been really, really great. I love the idea of Robotech, but I've just never really been into anime, and uh, so that always kind of put me off from watching the cartoon and stuff, and now, I'm again, I'm kind of sad to say that I didn't in the past, because I'm really enjoying the show on Netflix right now. But this looks to be a sprue from the Robotech Tactics game. And um, I should say Robotech RPG Tactics because it kind of fits with both. Uh, you could use these miniatures in the game, uh, the role-playing game, as well as their tactics uh, tabletop miniatures game as well, too. Um, but it looks like it's just a little insert. Um, sorry about all the glare on this. Um, it's, it's in a plastic cover. Uh, it looks like a little ad for the game itself, different box sets that you can buy, and uh, a sprue of some cool Veritech fighters, so... I'm excited to put those together and paint those up. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be awesome. Um, I know they're going to be running some Robotech at the Palladium Open House in April. So if you guys can make it, it's in about three months down in Westland, Michigan, uh, which is near Detroit. Um, I know they're running some demos and some games and some, I believe, a tournament or two as well, too, for Robotech Tactics. So that was the first thing in the box right off the top there. Let's see what else we got here. Oops. Knocked over a pop bottle. All right, so we got, you know, packing slips, um, an ad about uh, the Megaverse, uh, and this will this will actually come in. I'll show this again later um, uh, in my next upcoming videos because I'll be talking about the uh, the Megaverse in my video series coming up. And a checklist in the order form. Cool stuff there. All right, that's all just the goofy packing material stuff. Let's see what's the next thing in here. Oh, nice. All right. So this is one of the fantasy books that I requested. Uh, this is Palladium Fantasy Northern Hinterlands. Um, I'm a huge fan of... my One of my all-time favorite Palladium books is Adventures in the Northern Wilderness. And unfortunately, that one's out of print right now. Uh, I do have a copy of it, but it's not available to purchase anymore. Um, and so this one goes into a lot of detail from what I understand of that sort of region uh, in and around the Northern Wilderness and the sort of regions around it as well, too. Um, take a look at the back. Always beautiful from what you, you know, what you can expect from Palladium books and stuff. Oh, actually, there's a picture of it right there. Uh, Adventures in the Northern Wilderness. I, my all-time favorite. It was actually the first Palladium book I ever owned, um, and it's still one of my all-time favorites. So, um, yeah, very, very cool. All right, so that's the first book. Next, we got some uh, oh, some bookmarks. Cool. Let's see if we can get them out of here. Right on, some Savage, Savage World, Savage Rifts bookmarks. Can never have too many bookmarks. Kind of nice. Um, I'm I'm a huge fan of the original Rifts of of Palladium's version. Um, so I never jumped in on the the Savage Rifts. Uh, I do own Savage Worlds, and and I enjoy it. It's not my all-time favorite game, but uh, I do enjoy it. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that um, that uh, Palladium was able to sort of, like, you know, franchise out the Rifts thing and uh, get get it out to a wider audience and stuff. But uh, um, I appreciate the bookmarks, but I am still a staunch uh, fan of, of the original Rifts. So, but those are those. Let's see what's next here. Oh, yeah, another fantasy one. Nice. All right. So, Palladium Fantasy Western Empire. Um, I do remember reading about this once before. This is a, um, an empire off, obviously off to the West, uh, as its name implies, but this is sort of like a, where humanity sort of began and, and, and the empires have risen and fallen and stuff. And it's very sort of decadent, a land full of, uh, full of intrigue and, uh, and, um, cool, almost, um, from what I understand, almost like Arabic type of like dress and setting and stuff and uh oh man artwork and these things are always amazing i really love the artwork done by all the palladium artists and stuff um yeah cool stuff so western empire that's cool that's the next one on the list. uh what is this this is interesting oh very cool so sometimes you can get things 
from Palladium that are sort of art related. Uh, and these are, I think these are, yeah, cool. So right here on the back it says, um, uh, these are original piece of Palladium Books history. This is a negative used to print one of Palladium's role-playing game publications. Only one negative was ever made. Early printings of the book were title uh, of of this book title were created from this one negative. Um, it's a one of a kind item that is a little slice of gaming history. So this one is from uh, World Book Twenty Two, Free Quebec. And it's one of the pages from that as well. So new OCCs, the Little Boy Pilot. And this one is the same. World Book 22, Free Quebec. Uh, looks like pages 30, 30 and 36. Um, this is cool. I don't know if you can see it on the camera very much, but you can tell it's an actual negative because there's it's on a white background. Sometimes when you put press on it, it becomes a little bit easier to read because you're looking through the actual negative itself. Well, this is awesome. I have some Chuck... Um, what do I, how many pieces do I have up there? Uh, on my wall, currently, I have um, um, some Chuck Walton art, and uh, I think I'm going to frame these and put these right up next to that. That's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, that's awesome. Some little art pieces there. Let's see what's next. Oh, yeah, so here, adding to my uh, uh, Rifts line a little bit. Got uh, Rifts South America. Uh, I was kind of excited about this one. Love the brown art on the front of this. It's great stuff. Um... But I'm always kind of excited to see Rifts Atlantis. Yeah, it's one of my favorites as well, too. It's great stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, South America, uh, Rifts World Book 6. Excited about that. I love the world books because I love, I mean, I love the initial settings in sort of North America. But, man, I love to try to explore other stuff. So, let's see what else is in here. Last and final thing in the box is Rifts Book Australia. Oh, man, this is so gorgeous. That's such a great cover. Looks like John Zell. How is John? I'm sorry, I say your name last name wrong. Is it Zelzenik? I think I'm saying that right. Um, his artwork is always really phenomenal and stuff as well too. I follow him on Facebook. Um, uh, some detail in the back about the Rifter. If you guys aren't reading the Rifter, do so, man. Get a get a, uh, a subscription to the Rifter. It's great stuff. Um, it's uh, it's sort of like Palladium's version of their sort of Dragon magazine. Um, but even better. And so it's got all sorts of like scenarios and new rules and new everything in there. Really, if you're not reading the Rifter, you should be. It's, I've, I've got many, many copies of that. It's great stuff. I've always been fascinated by Australia. Um, in fact, one of my other favorite books by um, by Palladium is the uh, Mutants Down Under, uh, which they did. And it's, I love, I don't know, something awesome about Australia. Especially these guys riding like giant mutant kangaroos. That's kind of kick ass, actually. So, but, uh, so that's what's in my, uh, Palladium grab bag. I'm pretty happy with that. That's some great stuff in there. Um, uh, a lot of great stuff I'm gonna put to use and a lot of cool things I'm gonna look into. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely diving into some Robotech now. Um, I don't know if I really play the tactics game. I kind of got away from tabletop gaming, uh, or as, for, as tabletop miniature gaming, um, for a while now. Just, too expensive to keep up with them all. Um, especially, if, you know, some of the, the other ones out there. But anyhow, uh, I definitely want to check these little Veritech things. I'm going to put these together. Maybe I'll show you a video, uh, the, you know, about this when I get together. But next, I want to talk about something I'm going to do that's I'm super excited about. Coming up this Monday, this, this coming Monday, I'm going to be starting a video series called lore of the megaverse and it's going to be a road a lead up to the open house in april uh and um it's it's going to be sort of like exploring the lore of the different games that palladium has put out and how they're all sort of interconnected into this one massive giant megaverse of gaming that palladium has created and um uh, I'm excited about it. I've got about eight videos already pre-planned, and uh, I'll make more if we need to. But I think the eight should bring us right up to about um, bring us right up to about April to about the open house when that comes out. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Also, there's going to be a giveaway um, uh, available through that. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be 
uh, I have a phrase that I've drawn from the lore of, of Palladium Books, and I'm going to give you pieces of that lore in each video, pieces of that phrase in each video. If you've watched all eight videos and you can piece all that, that sentence together, that one big piece of lore, if you come to the open house in April in Westland, Michigan, near Detroit, uh, and play at my game, I'll be playing, I'll be running a Palladium fantasy game called The Long Dark Night. If you piece that phrase together, come back to me with the phrase and tell me what the phrase relates to in the Palladium Megaverse, I will give you an in-game item that will help you during your adventure. If you can't make it to the open house, but still watch the videos and still piece together the phrase and tell me what it relates to in the Palladium Megaverse, you'll win a free t-shirt. All right? So stay tuned. Monday will be the first video on that series, and I'll be giving you the first clue into the uh, lore phrase that I have prepared. And, um, yeah, so a little bit of fun, a little bit of lead-up. I want to uh, show you my excitement as I build up towards going towards the Palladium Open House in April. And then hopefully be doing some live video from there as well too. But uh, so that was my Palladium grab bag unboxing, and uh, I'm Questwise. Till next time, I'm out.